COVID-19 crisis is dividing one Valley School District, the Chandler Unified School District, announcing it will stay with hybrid learning despite these numbers. 529 cases per 100,000 people and nearly a 14% positivity rate. And now the teachers, they don't plan to show up. Carla Navarrete joining us live from Chandler. Good morning, Carla. Yeah, good morning to you, Justin. Yeah, the district is keeping in-person learning. They have not provided a hybrid option just yet, and we do know that over 100 teachers do plan on calling out sick today, which schools it will affect and which schools, which teachers, we are still unsure exactly what that will bring this morning, but parents are being warned uh, about this situation. Now, classes here at Hamilton High School do begin at 7 o'clock this morning around that time. Now, uh, Several districts are making the move back to hybrid learning or remote learning in January. Chandler Unified is not one of them. Chandler is the second largest district in the state. A group of teachers sent a letter last night to the district wanting them to move back to virtual learning after winter break. They do not feel safe until the community spread of COVID-19 decreases. We spoke with one teacher who wants to remain anonymous for her own safety. When we came back to work, we were told if we go into red on any of the metrics, our schools will shut down in order to keep everyone safe. And that went away with very little discussion. We weren't informed of this at all. Yeah, the state's largest district, Mesa, plans on going back to remote learning in January. As for Chandler, we did reach out to the district office. They tell us they encourage teachers to show up to school today and to talk with administration and do what is best in the interest of the students. That's all I have for you from Chandler. I'm Carla Navarrete, ABC 15, Arizona. Justin, back to you. All righty, thank you very much, Carla.